Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Snow Runner. So this is the trailer that we used to deliver the oil drill. And now we are here with the crane and the flatbed bed on the BM-17. And what we are going to do is have this trailer get these drilling spare parts and then probably transfer all of them to this big trailer and transfer all of them back here to the factory. Sounds pretty simple, sounds pretty easy. But then again, nothing is easy in this this snow runner game. Anyway, so fast forwarding the boring bit, and what I'm doing here is just heading towards where these crates are, and it takes me an entire year to figure out how to pick up this crate and how to load it back on the bed of the truck. Anyway, after six years, I've managed that. There it is, packed one cargo and then moving forward to the other one. So, simple enough. Took me another six years to pick it up and put it back into the bed of the truck. After 12 years, I was ready to pack the cargo and go. So, I unpacked it first and then packed it again. So, both of them were packed. And so that's how I also discovered a new feature that if you want to pack the cargo and when one is packed and the other is not, you unpack and then pack it. Anyways, heading back to the trail. Now we have a trailer parked here for, I don't know which job we were doing here and then I left the trailer here to be retrieved later. So as you can see, it's exactly there. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just gonna drive there. There is that trailer and position my truck properly I actually you know what i'm going to drive this one here all the way there and then put all the four blocks here instead why don't i since i just have to go right there and i have two blocks already loaded why don't i get this one uh actually let me let me uh, let me move back to the royal uh, Royal BM-17 and then just put these two back in the trailer and then load the other two on this truck and then just go to the factory. So this is what I have done and then I just positioned it here. Oh that was just my OCD and then that is here and then what I did is just attach this trailer to uh, the truck. There you go, winch it, attach it. It is as simple as that. There is winch point. Finally, the trailer is attached. And then what I have to do is I have to pick these up. One failed attempt for the crane, which is no big deal. I have thousands. And then load this thing on, pack it, it automatically shifts into place. Reverse it, pull the trailer, attach that trailer to me and then go and get the other one. Now, I wonder why I planned on doing this. Because I could have easily left the trailer down on the slope and then after I've done, I, after I was done with this, gone back and picked up the trailer, but I don't know what I was thinking that. Anyway, so, let the trailer go and then pick up this cargo. And finally, after 19 years, I managed to pick it up and load it back to the truck. Everything was simple, everything was good, everything was happy. I was happy. Then I reversed it. I attached the trailer again and then planned the route. First of all, shift switch to morning because it was pretty dark and it was getting pretty hard to see. Anyway, so this is the route. Simple, straightforward and then up north through here and to the factory should be simple or so that's what I thought anyway get the truck unstuck drive all the way there attach the trailer come on trailer and then drive all the way to my destination so everything was pretty simple everything was pretty neat until this happened Hmm. Anyway, so I said, okay, no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
load these boxes into the trailer and get the other boxes on the truck simple and manageable so I went on with it Nineteen years to load these boxes into the trailer. And as you can see, operating this crane is somehow the most difficult job I've ever done. Or probably because I'm not a crane operator in real life. Anyway, there it is. Those cargo, those boxes is loaded, and then I came here and I picked up these boxes. And after another nineteen years. I managed to load them on the back of my truck for the second time. Go back for the other one, catch, load, and then simple and straightforward. And everything was back to normal, everything was happy again. The truck was moving, the cargo was loaded. And I saw it, I thought I'll just attach this trailer because I don't want to make two trips. And I'll just attach this trailer. And I'll just try to be there. Should be simple, should be easy. Right? That's what I thought. So I drove all the way through these rocks and I finally realized the truck was tripping and this happened. So at this point in time I was literally lost for words. As you can see I'm pissed, I don't care about the cargo, I don't give any F's although I have none left to give also anyway so I dive towards the factory with the trailer in tow because I can't take it anymore it's just it's just not happening firstly I decided that I'll unload the these boxes into the trailer get the other boxes and then take them all together but then I changed my mind and I said why not let's just go deliver these there you go, take these two and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive back, recover those two boxes which are there in the field somewhere and then drive back so that way I don't have the issue of cargo falling over and then this cargo was loaded and this cargo was also loaded and after 165 years, everything was looking good. Reversed it all back through the bridge and all the way towards the warehouse or the factory, whatever this thing is. And finally, we are here. Thank you so much. The driver is pissed, so am I. Nobody gives a, you know what, 280 stars, 520, whatever, dude. I'll just take it. I'll just recover this truck because I've had enough and yeah so what I decided was we'll do this winter stores thing so what I have to do is in the logistic ways sorry to the logistic ways I have to deliver one trailer and two vehicle spare parts to the same base which is in Smithville Dam okay so the Pacific V16 is here as you know if you've seen the uh, previous episode he used the specific 17 to deliver that construction what the, the construction trailer so it's still here and there's a maintenance trailer that we have to deliver so saves us half a trip what I'm gonna do is start off this monster hitch the trailer here and then drive all the way to the uh, to the map entry point attach this to uh, the I think the Azov and then I'm gonna take it all together because you know who wants to do two trips anyway that's the plan so simple easy let's just I also realized that since this only has a high saddle which means I cannot attach this to B16 so never mind I'll just have to winch it and drag it across all the way towards the gateway to Smithville Dam. But this is my route. Simple, easy through the swamp. If the Azov could do it, this thing can also do it. Or at least that's what my belief is. So, 
then I just winched it to me actually winched it to myself and then pulled it all the way across you see no problem through the terrain through anything. it doesn't even care if it's dragging something behind or not through the swamp through the water nothing like it, it's just it almost felt like I was driving the cab alone with nothing in tow and the only problem is the turning circle so I have I, I do struggle a bit with the turning circle but then again as you can see through the swamp no problem at all always in fourth gear I didn't even let go of the gas actually I did one or, once or twice but still pretty simple pretty easy the going did get slow somewhere as you can see here it, it actually stopped it stopped for a bit and then it got moving again but I never never in the swamp did I have to winch it once so I just kept the uh, pulling this maintenance trailer and through and through and through and finally I reach here and miraculously the Azov is also standing with maintenance trailer now pro tip here if you want refuel or repair your truck find a trailer store buy a maintenance trailer repair and refuel your truck then sell the maintenance trailer because the game doesn't uh, have any penalty for selling the trailers you can buy the trailer for let's say 5000 repair your truck refuel your truck and sell it back exactly for 5000 so quick tip if you want to repair your truck or refuel your truck without having to recover it find a trailer store get a maintenance trailer get your things sorted then sell the maintenance trailer again it is as simple as that now this does not work with maintenance trailers that are part of a quest such as this one because this trailer I have to deliver whereas the other trailer I can buy I can repair refuel and then sell it again so simple simple anyway what I want to do now is attach this maintenance trailer to my Azov and then get going I'll just pull this trolley out the thing whatever you guys call it and then attach this trailer to the Azov attach this to the Azov no problem I'll just pull it anyway you just have to correct your correct side up anyway so smith will dam we are here uh -huh. here we are i think we have to attach the winch again to this uh, red trailer yeah start of the truck attach the winch let the handbrakes go and then where we have to go is to this service trailer vehicle service parts are here let's plan a similar route towards the service hub and i have to plan every single turn because if because if i try to go without the route planned i'll end up somewhere else anyway that's where we have to go to the log station all the way there so let's put the turbos on our as of and drive that quickly take a left oh leave the maintenance trailer here first attach this thing to the Yazov mm -hmm. there you go and then go get the vehicle service parts So we need two X vehicle service parts which we've got in the trailer and then we have to take the maintenance trailer also over there which I think is now this is what we're going to do we're going to deattach this trailer attach the maintenance trailer to the truck and then winch this trailer to the maintenance trailer if it makes sense anyway you'll find out in a minute so here we are attach the maintenance trailer here and then winch this trailer to the maintenance trailer this is what i was talking about anyway back here let's plan our route 
it's pretty simple it's all the way straight there to the very western northwestern end of the map I think I'm just gonna go down here and then straight through here straight through here straight through here hurdle towards the north and then west and then north and then west and then north and then west and then a little more west so yeah that's my route looks pretty simple looks like a straightforward drive but then again whenever the drive looks easy do not be deceived because this game is not easy at all this game is slow but it is not easy anyway through the swamp I tried and then I thought why not go through here and suddenly I just realized that that has happened so this is third time today anyway I go back to the garage and I go back to Russia because here what I'm trying to do is buy another truck which will have a dedicated crane roll so go all the way to off-road and go find this thing Z five three six eight it's pretty cheap 39 31 900 I'll take it I'll just go customize see if I can put a crane on it there is a sideboard there is a crane I'll just put a crane on it and that's it go back to the map actually go back to Michigan go back to uh, Smithville Dam go to garage and I did retain the truck earlier I forgot to mention so the Zeke is here and then diff lock is unlocked and un 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 engageable I think engageable is good or unlocked as well engageable unlock engageable I can't make up my mind let me anyway let's put some decent tire on here I think off-road uh, excellent good average or how about all terrain good good average hmm yeah all terrain seems like a good idea and since we don't have any use of these tires let's just sell them because you know how the coin was invented sorry how the wire was invented right mm -hmm. it is necessary to save money Anyway, this little thing drives pretty neatly, and with the crane attached to it, it did uh, it did drive decently. So here we are. What I try to do is first flip this thing over and get my own self stuck. Anyway, I managed to free myself with a bit of struggle. As you can see, if the truck doesn't have four wheel drive, the truck is useless. What it is the truck is useless anyway got that loaded and then got this thing also loaded now here is the thing i was so pissed i didn't even bother to load them properly because i know i knew then also i'll attach this trailer i'll just pack the cargo then i decided that i'll keep this trailer in front and keep the maintenance trailer behind so if i'm driving like an idiot which i am at least if the cargo is flipping I'll know and maybe I can prevent that so with that in mind the plan was to head towards the logistics base it was pretty simple it was pretty easy the going was a little tough but nothing the Azov cannot handle and we drove all the way without without the struggle actually that would be wrong we did struggle a little bit but without any mishaps I was pretty happy with the progress and I thought as of is the truck to use for every single objective and so I was contemplating this I was pretty happy with my progress and then this bend came along and this happened This is the place where you curse endlessly. 
fourth time today two ex cargoes have fallen from the same bloody trailer what else is next so i thought i'll just get this thing out get the maintenance trailer first try to put it the correct side up then attach it to my truck and then put it here actually get this thing over there because this thing is the only thing with the paint and so i did and i got and saved you guys the hassle of watching that dreadful struggle anyway i forgot to load a bed into it on it actually and then that happened so to the as of rescue this little guy then this was stuck so i took the as of again rescued this guy again moved it out of the way got the cargo or at least tried and then finally after i think the 36th time or something i got the cargo since i don't have a bed there is no way to load this thing and it doesn't have four wheel drive so it sucked it got stuck again the trailer got flipped again the asshole had to pull it out yet again but then i decided i'll just put this trailer here first so at least this part of the job is complete and then i'll go back put this trailer right way up rescue this little thing or actually you know what put the trailer right next to it so at least it can load the bloody trailer with no nothing was happening like literally nothing and i got the ears off stuck again so i took the ears off out i put the zig thing then i pulled the cargo put it in the trailer yep pull the zig mopper lab thingy again got the other cargo this is just a pain so i realized that when the crane is uh, operating you can't move the truck so i had to take this trailer all the way to the thing and then the thing had to load the cargo onto the trailer which it was unable to because it's a little so so pissed so pissed i was lost for words anyway after 967th try and switching to morning this thing is still unable to load the cargo now i tried to reposition the trailer again for the 957th time for god's sake and then finally this thing was on and i moved back to the air job i started up the air job i knew what i had to do i just have to finish this mission and i just have to call it a day because it's been so many cargoes falling over so many tries so many crane lifting such a terrible 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 <sighs> day i'm having with snow runner that i cannot take it any more anyway the game is fun it's just too much of a struggle and some days you're just not up for it although that's off to the as of it was the savior time and again the red trailer hated i could burn it if i could but uh, okay the z thing mm, one out of five stars anyway so finally i am here the trailer is here this job is complete and i think this is it for me as well <sighs> please like share comment and subscribe and i'm too frustrated to continue i am just going to go now have something to eat chill out lay on an icy slab or something and i'll see you guys in the next one